Hello everybody, I am Dr. Derek Mendonca. I work as a consultant, plastic and craniofacial surgeon at Sakura World Hospital in Bangalore in India. So what is craniosynostosis? Craniosynostosis is an abnormal fusion of the skull sutures. If you see the skull, there are various suture lines as you can see on the top of the skull, in the middle of the skull and behind the skull. These are the growing fusion lines of the baby's head. If one of these sutures fuses early before its normal date, these sutures become hard and that restricts the growth of the brain and the skull. This results in an abnormal deformity of the skull. The skull can be short, can be tall, can be long, can be distorted, that is one eye can be down, other eye can be up, the forehead can be abnormal and it can have associated pressure effects on the brain called raised intracranial pressure and effects on the eye if untreated can lead to blindness. This is seen in 1 in 2000 live births. In India, it is not commonly detected, but it is still very much seen. The most common type is fusion of the sutures in the front of the skull, that is the coronal suture, uh, sometimes the metopic suture, and sometimes a combination of one or two or three of these sutures. So what do we do? The first thing we need to do is to obtain a CT scan of the head and the face with three dimensional reconstructions. You need to find a good plastic surgeon or a neurosurgeon who understands this condition called craniosynostosis. Better still to find a plastic surgeon who is trained in craniofacial surgery. What we do is we examine your child, we take a thorough history, we take a thorough examination, we examine the shape of the skull, the shape of the forehead, we look at the eyes, we look at the rest of the face, we look for signs of raised intracranial pressure, that is pressure on the brain. We ask other, other specialists like ophthalmology, that is eye specialists to look at the eyes. We ask our neurosurgeons to look at the brain. We look at our we ask our pediatricians to look at the child's overall health. Based on all these parameters, we then come to a decision to see whether the child or the patient needs a surgical intervention or not. The most common surgical intervention is called calvarial volt reconstruction that is surgery of the skull and the forehead. Now that is done in two indications. First indication is if there are signs of raised pressure in the brain and the second is uh, cosmetic deformity. If the shape of the skull and the forehead or the eyes is very abnormally different or had, has a deformity, then that would need to be corrected. Now please understand that this is not cosmetic surgery, this is far more than cosmetic surgery because appearance and pressure on the brain go, are interrelated and if we correct the shape of the skull now, the child has a good chance of growth in the future. So the surgery involves cutting across the skin along with a neurosurgeon and plastic surgeon like myself. We mark out the cuts on the bone such as this. As you can see, we make cuts like this on the bone and we take off the parts of the bone that, are, that need to be taken off. For example, sometimes we take out this part of the forehead called a fronto-orbital advancement. We take these bone pieces out and then we cut them, shape them, carve them and we put everything back in the new position that it needs to be. We also use special plates called absorbable plates that are not metal and that they dissolve by themselves in one year's time. 
and these special plates are placed on the bone to hold the bone uh, where it needs to be held. We also cut the rest of the skull to make sure that the whole skull and the whole head is, is, uh, is corrected to the correct shape that it needs to be. This whole process is uh, a long surgery but it is very safely done in our hands. The child needs to be in intensive care for one night and a hospital stay of five to six days.